So, you see, I'm of the opinion and the very strong opinion. This is one of the strong things I believe that it is not everything that you have to say. It is not everything that you should disclose. There are some things that should never come out. If you have to take them to the grave, take it. Because buried, yeah. if it comes out, then you you lose you have a lot to lose mm. rather than gain. Mm. Do you do you get my point? Mm. Because if you've done something wrong and you tell this partner of yours who has literally built a future with you, mm. maybe it's a trivial mistake. Maybe it's not a mistake. You actually did it. Mm. As soon as that thing comes out, every your world will literally crash. Mm. No. But so. I think if you have sorry. Yeah, go for <laughs> I, it. I don't yeah. agree totally with your yeah, opinion. Yeah, I mean. But I think Hello guys, welcome to yet another exciting episode on your favorite podcast in the whole wide world. This is the FNF Catchy Dialogues. Today we have a very beautiful lady. Eloquent. Sandwiching us. Uh, yeah, and we'll go ahead and give her the opportunity to introduce herself. Yeah. Okay, so my name is Osmaida Diaz Gonzalez. I have a 34 years old. I came from Cuba. I am a nurse, like oh. us guys. <laughs> cool. Now, before we proceed to other questions, we'll take our food, um, food for thoughts today. Okay. So, guys, as we said earlier on, for every episode, we will come. Um, will bring you a food for thought. So today's food for thought, it says that it's funny, it's a funny thing about life. Once you begin to take note of the things you are grateful for, you begin to lose sight of the things that you lack. So once you begin to appreciate the things that you, you have in your life, the things that um, you have now at your disposal, you don't worry so much about the things that you lack, which is yeah. quite good, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So back to you, our wonderful guests. Yes. Yeah. Diaz. You said you're a nurse. Yes. How, how long have you been a nurse? Uh, six years. Six years. Yes. Well, oh, that's been a long journey. And do you do you enjoy nursing? I love it. Oh. Yeah. I think I I think I have more than six years because I came, uh, from a. F- healthcare worker family so okay. i i've been in the nursing career since mm. when i was a little child oh, with wow. my mom wow she's a nurse like me okay so i think i am in the nursing career more than six years oh but wow as Beautiful. a nurse six years wonderful yeah wonderful Ay, Charlie. Uh, yeah You've so, done well. we, so is, does the inspiration then come from your family uh, yeah. yes from the from the beginning i don't was sure yes as uh, commerce nurse because before I was thinking in follow my father because mm-hmm. he is a doctor. I was thinking in be a doctor, but when I start to see every day, every shift with my mom, I mm-hmm. say, no, 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 nurse is the most important part of the patient. <laughs> yeah. So I decide uh-huh. to be a nurse. Wow. 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 That, wow. Yeah, that's actually wow. very wow. beautiful. Wow. Wow. Very noble. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll love to be taken care of by a beautiful nurse like yeah. you get healed quicker yeah yes you know, <laughs> someone who actually loves the job yes you know, has not like you you i love nursing i'm still a nurse <laughs> just trying to help I, nurses use technology yeah yeah okay uh, i think uh to be a great and a good nurse that's yeah. not depending on your sister if you are beautiful or any kind of Mm. Uh, beauty you can think I think uh, be a good nurse and a great nurse is more as your feeling you as feel. as you treat the patient because you have to think in always in the patient you have to put in the shoe of the patient yeah, because in any time you can be in the position of the patient exactly exactly so you yeah. have to treat your patient as one you want to be treated or yeah. yourself Oh wow, that's that's one yeah, of the good yeah, things. That, 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 because that's you can you can be the most beautiful nurses, and you can you can not have nothing in your brain, brain yeah. and treat the patient as a shit. Sorry <laughs> yeah. for the word, but yeah, that's, yeah, that's, like that's, that's, that's yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of yeah. the nurses go to the world because they are need the money. They need money. 
not because of the inspiration. I need money. I go. I need one money. need the money, of course, but <laughs> you have to take your profession as a personal thing. Yes. Yeah. Because it's it's like in any kind of situation of your life, don't even in your work, even in friend, even in any part of the of your life, you have to love what you do it. Exactly. If you don't love what you do it, that no. don't make no sense. No. no. Yeah. You feeling as a obligation. You, yeah. You yeah. wake up in the morning and you say, I have to go and work because. <laughs> I don't have another yeah. solution. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. because it's so different when you wake up in the morning. I go into my place and my patient will be wait, huh. uh, waiting for me with yeah. a smile in the face. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 very good. That's yeah. very nice. Yeah. Grant. So, is there any motivation aside family that keeps you going on in life in general, not just about work? Are there things that inspire you or things that on the other side demoralizes you uh my best inspiration of my life i have two inspiration on my life actually mm -hmm. yeah. one the first one of my life my big support on the life is my father mm -hmm. i learn most of this thing of my life from him mm -hmm. and the second one my daughter oh uh, yes mm -hmm. uh, when she born my life changed a hundred percent wow I became I'm a new woman uh, and a new person, and I work since she born as different person. Mm. So and actually, nothing can demoralize me because I have to work so hard of my life. So I don't give nothing. you that opportunity. Nothing to demoralize yeah. me. Even <laughs> even when I doing something wrong, I have the capacity to to correct it five yeah. to rectify that. Yeah. So. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, that's that's actually very good. Good, good. Okay, so we 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 should have asked this earlier out. Um, for most people who haven't seen you before, someone who doesn't know you, where where are you from originally? You are not from UK, anti. No, no, I don't from UK. I from Cuba. Cuba. It's a country in the Caribbean. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to visit the Caribbean one day. Yeah, Cuba. I, I I give you all the right to go. <laughs> go, you will enjoy. Oh, yeah. nice. uh, cool. Okay. It's a summer country, so in any time you can enjoy the beach, yeah. rivers, also the city. Yeah. yeah. Great. Great. Okay. Any of the country you want to go in the Caribbean because mm. you have a lot of Caribbean countries you can go and visit and yeah. you will enjoy your vacation. Yeah. 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 And um, comparing, so how long have you been in the UK? Since December. December. So When let's say my five recruitment, months. Yes. Five months. And have you noticed any changes? So comparing Cuba to the UK, what are the major changes that uh, you've experienced? The major changes, the freedom. The freedom. Freedom. I am free. You are free here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Why should, why do you uh, say explain, that? Explain, yeah. yeah. Yes, because I came from, unfortunately, a communist country. And we don't have freedom for nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even as a nurse, you don't have freedom to decide what you want to do because your government don't give you the right to do it. Yeah. As a person, if you want to give you your personal opinion and the government don't like it, you can get prison. So yeah, that yeah, is that's... the major yeah. difference I find in UK from my country. Uh, that, freedom. That, is, that is that that qualifies a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Yep. to have freedom and then you have that peace of mind to do whatever you want. Yes. Yeah. So that means your daughter will be joining you soon, so you can have that sort of. You miss her, don't you? Your daughter. Yes, I miss her. Yeah. So I plan to bring her with me, and yeah. also she's so happy uh, because even for childs is difficult. Yeah. They yeah. don't have also freedom, so. No. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Have you always wanted to travel outside Cuba or it just happened and you're like, at this point, I think I want to leave? Always because since I born in Cuba, we we born in that system. And so you suffer that things from you from when you born. Yeah. So you, you have all that repression over you. Yeah. Since you open your eyes for first time. <laughs> so, yeah. Always so. So when you get conscious and you know 
how is the real life yeah so you have to open your minds and you say i have to look for my freedom i uh-huh. have to look for my f- for my future yeah so and you say unfortunately in my country i cannot do it wow okay cool. and um, you have to find a way yeah <laughs> yeah yeah definitely okay so um just a trivial question now uh, i'm going to ask you three things and then you choose yeah. so <clears throat> i'm going to give you options so yeah. would you choose this or instead of that so example um would you prefer to live your life without television or live your life without music which one would you prefer to which one can you do away with uh, i prefer live my life without television because i born in a country when we enjoy the life with all that kind of things mm-hmm. we have actually yeah and was really really more happy without television without right? television so you prefer music yes. you like music yes okay I also I I came from a, a music country and exactly. dancing the country Caribbean. so yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> every, every time even dance. even when you don't have uh, electricity or you don't have any kind of instruments you mm. make music by yourself yeah exactly yeah. yeah yeah okay so another one of these dilemmas um would you prefer to be able to read people's minds and be an illiterate or you want to have the ability to read like so would you prefer to be an educated person or to be an uneducated person but be able to read people's minds which one would you prefer i prefer to be educated people okay yeah yeah you prefer education yes. rather than reading people's minds no because i am so smart because just because i learn from the past of the life i not too old but you yeah. The life make you lame. Hello. Okay. All right. I'll leave Fifi to ask one of these dilemmas. Yeah. So, would you rather have body odor or mouth odor? Me? Which yeah. one would you choose? Which one would you choose? If you, if you had to pick one. No. No. No, no. no one. Please. <laughs> no. My, uh, I don't like odors. So, <laughs> but some sometimes the per, some person have any health condition they yeah. provoke mouth odor or body odors mm. that is uncontrollable but if you can control it yeah. i prefer not You're to pre- have anyone <laughs> yeah. no okay okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay that. i'll throw this one at you so um apart from myself i don't know if you've got any you've we've known any other africans in the past do you how do you see africans how so in from the past also before come UK I was working in Africa country mm. in Dominica they have Africa country and also England course so they miss yeah. I learned from this country and also know many many people from Africa oh, okay from Ghana from Nigeria mm. from I forget the from Congo, Congo also because Dominica have a lot of professional healthcare yeah. workers mm. working in the hospital mm. and is a big challenge and also nice challenge to know different cultures, cultures yeah. and is uh, is very 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 interested and also I respect any kind of culture from mm. from Africa okay and, and some I know some really really nice person from Africa mm. okay all of one healthcare workers but yeah. <laughs> i don't have the opportunity to know another one uh, yeah yeah okay mm. all right cool. that's very beautiful so can we get into the crux of the matter yeah 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 are you ready <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, i think we were sp- we were talking about it earlier um about relationships mm-hmm. and all of those bits are you single yes actually i'm single and are you searching or you are single but not searching i really really wasn't looking for nothing yeah. but i am open to to have any kind of relationship yeah yeah do you, do you have a preference like say you want a, a man who's doing There's, this yeah, or that any or, special you know, characteristics any special you look for requirements. in a man um 
I think uh, that kind of a standards, sad, high standards. Mm. So that noise for me. Mm. So that can be really flexible mm. because sometimes you are looking for a tall man, handsome man, and they don't have nothing inside there. <laughs> it's very disrespectful, <laughs> mistreat you, yeah. don't take yeah. care of you. So I prefer some kind of a standards, as I was telling you. So the uh, the man I, I expected or I would like to have is the man respect me, take care of me also to mm. my daughter because I yeah. I don't I don't say before but I am I'm, I am a single mother. Mm. So I expecting that from the man. Mm. So respect that he cannot lie me. I don't mm. like <laughs> lies. <No. laughs> so that's important thing because the rest of these things uh, that can be flexible can manage. Mm. yeah okay that okay. no the physic the physic uh that noise is important so you have to see the most important thing is uh a feelings mm. that is more important than the physic yeah so um you, if i understand you yeah. mean that there's no point having too much expectations going into relationship you shouldn't have no no so you your expectation is based on the standards. Mm. You understand? Yeah. That's I was telling you. If it, if it, the person don't like me, the person protect me, take care of me, mm. and that kind of important things, that is the the expectation you have to put it in your mind from this relationship mm. or marriage with another person. Mm. And I don't like also real expectation. Make real expectation in every relationship because mm. that is. On that, you cannot control that. No. If you're expecting something from a person, and when you know the person and you see it's really different, you get disappointed, yeah. and that make you suffer because that is hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think also, yeah, having too many expectations, it's, it's bless your view. Or it doesn't make you appreciate people enough. Yeah. So you can go with. A lot of people have unrealistic expectations. Yeah, yeah. That's especially that, yeah. with yeah. regards that, to that's very yeah. true. Everybody likes a nice person. Everybody yeah. wants to get married or be in a relationship with a nice person. But sometimes you have to look beyond the physical yeah. aspect. Yeah, some someone wouldn't look physically attractive, but then the person has got some good things in him that yeah. will change your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to yeah. go in through to know the person because sometimes you can see the outside part of the person and mm. you say, no. For mm. example, the person have tattoos, the person mm. have a lot of earrings in mm. the hair, have different color of the okay. hair, and you say, no, that person don't like me. But you have to go in through and know the yeah. person because yeah. you don't know the person. Yeah. Yeah, that... You don't know how the person will treat you. You yeah. don't know how the life will be with that person. Exactly. True. Yeah, it's true. Some people make a high expectation on the person and I say, no. I don't want to be with a person. But if you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So away from the things you look out for before. Now, whilst you are in the relationship, what are some things that you think are very critical and important for a relationship to work? Uh, boundaries. From the beginning, you have to make your real real boundaries from mm. the beginning mm. and also you have to if you decide and you are already in the relationship mm. you have to take care of your partner from the beginning mm. because you cannot expect it you will take care of your partner in my case i am a woman i mm. cannot expect him take care of you when i marry with you mm. no 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 you have to take care of the relationship from the beginning mm. So the man has to take care of the woman. Both. Both have to Both. come together. Relationship is a team. Team. You have to work together. Mm. Half and a half. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. So you think um, certain boundaries working together yes. makes the dream work. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so if with boundaries, what would be your boundary? Like what limits would you give your partner? For some people, their boundary is... I don't want my partner to touch my phone. 
like your partner shouldn't go into your private messages and all that. For some people, um, their boundary is, I don't want you to have too much close relationship with my friends of the opposite sex. Like ladies don't want, some ladies don't want their husbands to be very close to their female friends. So what uh, would be your boundary? For me, that boundary you say me that is a stupid boundary because mm -hmm. if you are one to try you will do it even mm. even if you <laughs> control that person because that that is the personal decision mm. nobody can tell you uh what you can do or what you cannot do mm, yeah. it's your personal decision if mm. you want to train me it's because you want to do it mm. yeah. Yeah. so when you make your boundaries from the beginning you construct your way on the relationship mm. For me, boundaries is respect. Mm. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't don't mistreat it. That is the most important thing in the relationship. Respect, no lies, don't mistreat. Yes. Yeah. 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 Loyalty. Yeah. Because yeah. when you break that things, you break one, you lose all of one. Mm. Mm. Yeah. When you break one thing, loyalty, respect, no lies. No mistreat. When you break one, you lose all of one. Yeah, yeah, it's very true. I mean, when yes, you, when you think about it, yeah, you once you you lied to me, you've not been loyal. Mm. You've broken the respect you have for me. Trust is out of the window. Yes, so it, said, it, yeah, exactly. You lose your integrity and your credibility yeah, in my eyes. Yes, so, yeah. yeah. Also, it, make it, you it feel really yourself. Makes... Make you feel yourself as. Uh, and also you start to think it's my fault what I do it wrong mm. when you break the the one of the things you break you miss everything yeah yeah that, I mean I, everything I completely agree with you on that yeah. I think when you lie for the first time you break the loyalty mm. you never will get back again mm -hmm. it's like a glass try to you break a glass, try to fix it again and tell me if it's the same thing yeah, again yeah. after you fix it. Even if you, you fix it with gold. No, 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 no. Never will be the same again. Yeah, the is, it's, it's, yeah. it will never Trust, be the same. I think same. Yeah, in, in this century, 21st century, and to this modern society, people trivialize loyalty and trust. People, like, if we see in relationships, right, yeah. um, I think some of us underplay the value of trust and yeah and and um loyalty and that kind of commitment yeah i don't know if it stems from uh, the things we see on social media the movies we watch because it's it's crazy like so many people are going through lots of mental stress with with regards to relationship and yeah i, I think it's uh it's like i was t telling you before it's your decision mm. break the trust is your decision mm. that is that you cannot con you cannot control that no it's your decision mm. even if you tell her your partner let me see your message don't talk with that lady we'll do it <laughs> it's your is your decision yeah. yeah yeah actually if i think many of these relationships don't work properly because of this mm. Because about respect, trust, mm -hmm. loyalty. Mm -hmm. And actually we have a lot of mental health problem mm -hmm. and a lot of broke people. Yeah. And unbelievable people. So kind of person don't want to be in this relationship because of that. Yeah. So many pains on the heart, on the brain, and decide to be a part of the relationship because yeah. they thinking everybody will be the same. Yeah. Because when you lose the trust. You lost everything. Yeah. 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 Okay. So there's this question I want to ask you both, right? And mm -hmm. then later you can ask <laughs> yeah. any question. So would you prefer, I'll start with Fifi. Would you prefer that your partner opens up to you about something that will break your heart? Or would you rather prefer that he or she, he, she keeps it from you? And not tell you at all so that you protect the sanity of the relationship. The same to you, Diaz. Would you prefer that if you are in a relationship or marriage, would you prefer that your husband will tell you, let's say that your husband has cheated or done something 
would you prefer that your, your husband tells you and you feel hurt than let's say he doesn't tell you at all and then everybody stays at peace you protect your heart and you protect your emotions Fifi let's go first so you see I'm of the opinion and the very strong opinion is one of the strong things I believe that it is not everything that you have to say it is not everything that you should disclose there are some things that should never come out if you have to take them to the grave take it because if it comes out then you you lose you have a lot to lose Mm. rather than gain Mm. do you you get my point Mm. because if you've done something wrong and you tell this partner of yours who was literally built a future with you Mm. maybe it's a trivial mistake maybe it's not a mistake you actually did it Mm. as soon as that thing comes out every your world will literally crash no but so. i think if you have sorry yeah go for <laughs> I, it. I don't yeah. agree totally with your yeah, opinion yeah I mean. but i think if you have a uh, um a strong relationship even when you think the relation will broke will mm. go and done uh, you have to discuss with your partner mm. even if it's a big mistake you have to both you have to find a way to get the solution mm. because in my opinion kill me with the truth no comfort no, you the lie. no oh. comfort with that sweet lie yeah no yeah. kill me with the truth mm. all always as a person <laughs> i always will tell you <laughs> stuff it's stuff oh, it's, <laughs> you see it's stuff i think when sorry to cut you but if you don't know about it it's yeah. different yeah you get it if you suspect say oh Fifi, I've noticed this or I've noticed that. That I believe once the person has a hint of what's mm. going on, go I will disclose it yeah. because it's respectful to do that. Mm. But if the person has zero idea yeah. of no. Let me tell you something <laughs> as a woman. Yeah. We have the power when we go in with you close to you and tell you I will give a sample Fifi. We are we are partners. Mm. I want to ask you something. We have many, many proof about the one we we want to know. You know, yeah. Don't don't try to lie the woman because woman have that power. When they when they going through with you and tell you, I noticed something. It's because I know already. Exactly. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Know already. If it comes up that way, then I'll talk about it. Because yeah. if we, it never comes up, mm, because we like be to look. We like to look, and we keep all the change in your and your routine every day. Mm. We are a little bit more smart than the men, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have that yeah, power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. women have got that. That's very yeah. true, But actually. the other things I agree with you, some kind of situation, for example, from your past. If you don't feel uncomfortable to say, don't say. Yeah, mm. Don't exactly. disclose because it's your, if your life, if your yeah. private life. And also, I think if you start a relationship with a man or woman, whatever, mm. I think you don't need to talk about your past. You don't need to. No, you don't need to. No. That make you f- that make your relationship more strong, because it's as Fifi say. Yeah. M- maybe kind of things happen in your past. Yeah. Mm. That your partner don't really like it. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> the most important is live the present, enjoy the present, and work for the next time okay so that was going to be my question for the day like yeah. um, uh, would you have to um disclose your past to your, your partner your put your partner before you continue the relationship or would you rather not disclose your past to your partner you have said your opinion that you don't need to mention your past it's not relevant uh, just leave the moment Uh, I don't I don't say 100% you yeah. don't disclose your past because so many things from your past you yeah. you have to say. Yeah. But some kind of sensitive things. maybe yeah. everybody don't have sensitive things on the past yeah. but yeah. some kind of sensitive situation on your past life you don't have to disclose. Yeah. 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 Because maybe it can hurt your partner. Mm. Exactly. That's true. And make you feel uncomfortable, mm. make you feel insecure. Mm. Yeah, completely agree with you on that. And I'm also against people trying to 
find out. You know, there are some people who want to know everything about you, everything you've done in the past. No. That make you feel so uncomfortable. Exactly. And after Because that, they'll they come be in the jealous. Out. They become jealous. They yeah. come in the you insecurity. Know? They yeah. come in all that kind of thing Ge because some people think yeah. overthinking everything. <laughs> Do you know people genuinely who, who want to go into your past, want to know all these things? I think that you don't want to be caught by surprise at any point in time. Do you know issues pop up later in... Um, life where your partner will be like we've married for 20 years and i didn't know this thing about you so yes some things that are very essential there are things that are probably there are mistakes some of the mistakes you don't have to tell them about very very salient things i i think you you should mention and if your partner goes to the extent of asking you about them and you can afford to disclose it you you have to disclose it there's no need to lie like do you know i'll give this example so i know this lady that met a man she had broken up from her marriage right the first marriage didn't go well and she met this man this man was good looking the man was very committed to helping her like with regards to her life what career she wanted to do She had kids, but in her child's mind, she thought that if I tell this man I have kids, maybe the man won't be interested. So she had like four kids and she told the man that she didn't have kids. So, so the man, they got along. Anytime the man comes to the house, right? She lets, so uh, uh, she lives with her mom and some siblings. So she will let her kids go and stay with her sister when the man comes around so that the man doesn't know. And she had a very young child. When the child sees the, the, the mother and the man passing, he wants to say, Mama, then the woman will look at the son some way. But oh, one day, that, that no one day, they were tired. Like the sister was tired because you are hurting the child emotionally. Yeah. And then... If the thing you continue with the man till marriage, definitely you have to know. So the sister allowed the child to go to the mother and the man came to know. The man forgave. But subsequently, there were other things that she lied to the man about. And all these things compounded. compounded. Now the man doesn't trust her again. And I think the relationship is is, is breaking down. So should have been Then, open from the beginning. In that situation, in my opinion, as a mother, That not fair. In front to the God eyes, mm. that is a big crime. Mm. Because if I become in a relationship, the first things the man supposed to be with me have to do is accept my child mm. before than me. Mm. Even my past. Mm. If you don't set my child, that's all. That's all. Mm. Okay. Grant. So now we want to get into some trivial bits. Do you like music? Yes. I love Because music. Because you're from the Caribbean. Yeah. <laughs> What kind of music do you like? Uh, all of one. I don't have preference. So, yeah. but uh, I like uh, more classic music. I talk about classic music from the years ago. 80s, 90s. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. also electronic music from now. Any kind of... Uh, Uh, particular song else you know but I, preference i don't have any mm. preference do you like afro beats yes <laughs> do, do you know any afro beat artists uh, uh titles so no they're Buna Af boy you know but uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> i was yeah. working in the african country yeah. three years yeah. how yeah. common i will know <laughs> yeah. Boy, yeah who I else do you know because i've been a boy joe whiskey Uh, Vido. Really, really, by name, no. <laughs> by name, by no, name but, no, but you know the songs yeah. and other bits. Okay, okay. cool. Right. So, Kalaya Wani. Kalaya. Welcome. Don't yeah, sleep. We, Wake yeah, up. That's his Daniel. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Daniel. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's Red yeah. one also. 
We will now introduce you to Ghana music, okay? Ghana music. We've, we've got, got very good, yeah. good okay. artists, like yeah. in Promise. Have you heard of Una? Uh, have you heard yeah, of me. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's from, from Ghana. Ghana. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, yeah. He was in Singapore recently. He went yeah. to... Singapore and Bali. When you, yeah. Bali, when you yeah. type in YouTube Af, uh, Afrobeat, that's some coming in the yeah. list of the music. Yeah. 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 Wow. Great. Cool. Yeah, I think I've I've loved today's conversation. Yeah. Right? What do you think? Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I think um we've, we've as I said a lot and then most probably we'll be seeing her in subsequent episodes. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. So guys, if you like this video, we want you to like. If it's the first time, subscribe, share this video to your friends, your family, tell someone about FNF catchy dialogues. So do you be, before we before we end, right? Do you have any social media handles that yeah, you want, you want to share people to follow? Someone on? wants to on, connect with you. I don't I don't I don't make any kind of video like this di- no, yeah. live like, podcast. So no. but I have Facebook, I Facebook. have Instagram, I have uh, TikTok. So what's what's your um account name so that people who are watching who want to follow you on those uh that will be complicated because it's a spanish so <laughs> oh, okay yeah. okay <laughs> we'll, we'll put it we'll okay, put it in there yeah. uh, yeah. yes put it in the comments and yeah I will. And, okay all yeah, right any cool. last words you 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 have so i just want to say for the people don't follow the society comments mm. because always the society will judge you mm. just do that mm. make you feel happy. Yeah. Follow your feelings and even when the society say don't do that. Do it if you're feeling happy. Yeah. Do it if you're feeling, feeling happy, happy guys and that is how do we what end. you what make you yeah. feel happy. Yeah. Live yeah. your life in happiness. Mm. Life is too short to be in repression to all the time. So that's it. Okay. Cool. Wrapping up. So that brings us to the end of our video. Yep. And um, if the first time you're watching us, please do well to subscribe. We know now we have loads of people watching from Cuba. So yeah. a big <laughs> shout out to all our new Cuban friends. Yeah. Uh, hola. <laughs> hola. Yeah. And uh, to our returning subscribers, super happy to have you here. Keep encouraging us and we'll keep bringing out content that you like. Until we see you on the next episode, it's peace. peace. Thank you.